Hello and good morning everybody, this is DeVim, and you are now watching DeVim's gaming channel. How is everybody this morning? Uh, I'm hoping everybody's doing good. Uh, today we're going to be doing an episode of Fallout 76. Um, just yesterday they released a new patch that um, incorporated the uh, Pioneer Scouts, I think that's what they're, uh, they're called. Um, yeah, Pioneer Scouts. Um, quest line which allows you to get a backpack which increases your maximum carry weight on your character so so today we're gonna i'm gonna get in and i'm going to do that quest um i haven't done it at all yet um let's, i'm gonna be doing this first with you guys so without further ado let's i'm gonna be playing on my main character devim level 76 uh 76, 76, haha! It's a. <laughs> what a cool winky dink! Alright, guys. Alright, let's start playing. I'm gonna play on the standard adventure uh, world. Last I knew, my guy had quite a bit of weight. He's, he's been struggling with his, his max carry weight for a while now. So getting this backpack is going to be awesome if I can actually just just get a few more points of carry weight would be awesome. And no, yeah, I'm overweight. I'm over encumbered. I have no idea what I was doing last time I was playing. Let's take a look. Where am I at? Uh, looks like I may have been walking down to here, down to Flatwoods to sell stuff, I think. I believe that's what I was up to, because my camp's up here. And I'm over encumbered. I think I was going to sell stuff in the market. So, I'm going to continue my way down. Got myself a silenced handmade rifle, which is, you know, actually pretty nice. I finally got the blueprint to make handmade rifles, so I've been, I've been crafting them and scrapping them to get the mods you know, that I can uh, add on to the uh, handmaids. There we go.
robots and see what was coming. That guy did. That one saw what was coming. Oh, hey there, Mr. Handy. That's why I say about that. I'll take up all that scrap if I don't if you don't mind. Ooh, lead scrap, we could use that for bullets. That was a big boom, whatever that was about. I don't know if there's any more little turrets kicking around here or not. I'll grab some dirty water. I'll boil that later. Ooh. Military ammo bag. I'll take the blood pack. There we go. Alright, let's head back on... Oh, I didn't get in here. Handcuffs. Okay. I'll take some handcuffs. I got materials I can use. Alright. I'm gonna take a little jump off this cliff. There we go. Didn't get hurt. Let's head down the flat woods. Such a beautiful autumn day in West Virginia. for my stamina to regenerate my AP I'm on regain so I can move again there we go take some ammo and some money I gonna sell. Uh, I was thinking about keeping that. Yeah, Ghoul Slayer crossbow, which just looks pretty cool. Uh, Nocturnal Western revolver. Nah, I can sell that. Uh, quad salvage electron. Uh, assaultron head. It's crook. Suppressor's black powder rifle. Hmm, I don't know. Troubleshooter's sickle. Uh, I can sell that one. Let's see what we got for apparel. I could probably sell. Uh, I could probably keep that. It sure is great to see living. All right, aid. I can sell some aid. I got a lot of uh, got a lot of radaways. I could sell. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna sell about fifteen of those probably. Way too many stim packs. I sell about ten of them. Oop, 
Mess that up. Yeah, let's set that back down to 10 again. Except. Okay. Yes, sell the item. Hey, volunteer. If you need supplies. Uh, f nah, I don't really use stealth boys. I'll sell them. Uh, sell cement. Oop, nope, 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 nope. Ain't selling all my stim packs. Alright, yeah, mentats. Uh, sell the bourbon. Still got way too much stuff on me. Yeah, I'm gonna sell a Saltron head. Heck with it. Hey, volunteer. If you need hmm. supplies, Bob got you covered. I could probably sell my suppressed hardened piercing hunting rifle, but I like that for when my uh I run out of ammo for my handmaid. While you're here, why not grab a stem back? Hmm. I really like that crossbow. I kinda wanna keep that. The Gauss rifle's extremely heavy. Alright, I'm gonna make a trip over to the nearby uh stash box. And I can see about trying to fit it into the stash box. Okay, where's the ghouls? There's usually ghouls kicking around here. Well, uh, there's usually more than just one. Where's the other? There it is. One. It's in the ground! What the heck? <laughs> what is that? That was hilarious. He's like scooting around everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was hilarious. That ghoul's name shall be from here on out. Scooter! Hey, Scooter! Alright. I only got like one pound of space available for anything in the... I could probably sell the Ghoul Slayer's combat armor left leg. Uh, Last Bastion. Uh, I hate to sell that. Mutant Slayer's left... Yeah, I'll sell that. Just so I can get some more room in this inventory. Let's see, let's go into weapons. Yeah, I'll get rid of the radium rifle. Vampire's baton, I'll get rid of that. Uh, mutant missiles launcher. Uh, yeah, I'll sell that. I should be able to store the Gauss rifle now. And let's see. Let's throw the gauntlet in there. There. Go with that.
Okay, Robo Vendor. Which I know I should do before I even sell stuff to them. I should have done this before. Should have went into my perks. And you got inspirational. And go with hard bargain. There we go. There we go. Trade. Weapons. Let's see. Berserker's Radium Rifle. Sell that. Mutant's Missile Launcher. Sell that. Uh, yeah, let's expect that again. What is that? 40% faster swing speed, 90% reduced weight, gain brief health regeneration when you hit. And I don't really need that. It does peddly for damage anyway. Uh, but all it will be good for is beating on something really quick and regaining my health fast. So, eh, I got a vampire's board that does the same thing. And the gutter does the same thing. I mean, the gutter is really nice. While you're here, why not and it's a little lower level item, so I'm going to sell the Vampire's Baton. Okay, let's see what we got for apparel. Uh, I was going to sell that uh, Ghoul Slayer's Combat Armor. Uh, Mutant Slayer's Leather Right Arm. Uh... I want to keep the unyielding. Sturdy leather right arm. I can sell that. There. There. I can. I'm no longer overweight. Nice. I can run again. I can run. I can jump. Now we gotta go find a railway station and begin that uh, Pioneer Scout quest. But first things first, I'm going to store um this unyielding combat armor right arm, and I should do it. Just gonna look at weapons real quick, make sure there's nothing I want to throw in there. Um, I kind of sold that, but yeah, I'll throw it in there. Little Slayer's crossbow. Oh, my stash box is full, so I can't put the crossbow in there. No biggie, though. All right, let's see. We can go over to Sutton. They have a train station. So, turn off this way. Go look at the map again, make sure I'm going the right way. Yep. And we'll just take the road over to. What do you got for materials? You got any good materials? Ah, steel scrap ain't bad. I could use more steel scrap. Should probably drink some water and get some food. Drink some purified water. Eat some dog food. There we go. We're all set. Ready to rock and roll. Oh, there's a Mr. Farmhand all the way out. Whoa, look at all these. Jeez. <laughs> that was quite the uh, 
army of ghouls. For a bit there, I felt like I was a stormtrooper. I was like right at there, point blank, and I was missing. It's like, come on, really? Scoping out all the uh, potential places for loot. Yeah, flip later. I'll have some components I can eat out of it. Probably gears. I think it is, or screws or something. Alright, let's get to that train station. Let's see where I'm at. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm gonna hop up on the rail bed. Follow the tracks instead. There's the railway station right up ahead. What the heck? Why did I take damage for no reason? Here we are, Sutton Station. Alright, let's see if we find the uh, uh, Pioneer Scouts of America. Come and join the Order of the Tadpole. Visit Camp Lewis to enlist today. Ever upwards. Okay. <laughs> Pie Moose, uh, wild eviction party this Sunday. Pie House party rules. Break stuff, be wild, trash hard, trash all. Chug, coma, puke, and rally. All oh, are welcome. Formal tire is optional. No robots. P.S. Cops not invited. Cops come equals every man for himself. <laughs> Sheep squash ate my brother. <laughs> okay. I got to untangle a connection between sheep squash and... And low. Okay. All right. So we're going to actually go to Camp Lewis first. Uh, let's see. Wanted to go that. Okay, so Camp Lewis. Let's see if I have Death Blossoms. Let's see. Fanlow Taxidermy. That's in Lewisburg. Um, we want to go to Camp Low. Or Camp Lewis, sorry. Camp Lewis. Pioneer Scout Camp. That's all the way up there. But it looks like I've already unlocked. I've already scouted the area out and I unlocked it so we can actually fast travel there so we're gonna fast travel to the camp that makes things a lot easier as I already had the location scouted out which is very wonderful we can fast travel I finish this off early enough we might be, I'll go and do the that sheep squatch quest all right, order the tadpole. Join your local Pioneer Scout Troop. All right. Oh, there's a scorched, uh, petrified scorched. Camp Lewis, order 451 Pioneer Scouts of West Virginia. Sounds like we got one of them, uh, silo beacons chirping off around here. Okay, so the quest wants us to go down here. I'm going to take a peek inside these huts. Maybe there might be something cool in there. 
Pioneer Book Fundraisers. Pioneer Scouts of America Handbook Fundraisers and Fundraising. Where possible, fundraisers and fundraising should involve the community in some way. Bake sales, running competitions, restoration and cleaning projects. Innovation fairs and intramural competitions can be used to interact with the community. Forging a closer bond and sense of commitment. Adult approval and supervision must be obtained for all fundraising activities. Not intrusive. We want to bring the community to us, not pester them with baubles and goodies. We want to bring the community closer to the natural environment. Training. Use the skills you've learned to train members of the community. Most of you are trained in CPR. A great way to raise money is CPR and survival classes. Con uh, conduct. Scouts are not allowed to sell pharmaceuticals, surplus commercial products, protection services, or to engage in criminal activity of any kind. Yeah, that's kind of a... Uh, that'd be a good idea. Supposed to be scouts, not... Uh, Criminals. Yeah. Okay. Explore the unknown with the Pioneer Scouts. Okay, tadpole vending machine. Oh, you get, uh... Oh, you got a special currency. What is... That's new. Neat. Okay, you can buy banners and, uh... Scout, um... Outfits and... That's pretty cool. All right, let's go this way. All right, let's explore in here. Let's see if there's anything neat. Got some boiled water and a disease cure. That's always nice. I'll grab that giddy up buttercup head. Turn on my uh, handy pit boy light so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Wait a minute, what's that? Pioneer Scouts knowledge exams. What's the only difference between a slug and a snail? Oh, looks like our. Uh, promising recruit and that's just the kind of person I'm searching for due to membership numbers falling below acceptable standards I have been authorized by well myself to welcome you to the pioneer scouts you have joined the ranks of the most patriotic and perpetually prepared young and recently not so young <laughs> Okay, so order of the tadpole. Demonstrate Pioneer Scout values. Kindness, revive an ally. Helpfulness, clean up kitty corner cabins. Bravery, control pests at Dolly Sods. Growth, earn Scout World Challenge badges. Okay. Alright, so... I'm going to equip my Pioneer Scout tadpole uniform. Let's look at how ridiculous I look. Uh... I'm on. All ages are now welcome. That's pretty goofy. All right. In northern climate, I'll take a look around and see what else there is in here. I gotta grab some desk fans, battered clipboard, pencil. Yeah. There we go. We got a globe. What else can we loot? Yeah. Ooh. First aid kits. Nice. Badge exam terminal. Uh. 
Okay. Uh, let's go to tadpole exams. Select the exam breaker below. Hunter. Start exam. Show question. You're going hunting with your great great grandfather's old fashioned black powder rifle. What do you need to bring to reload? A ramrod. Show question. Okay. You're taking your kill back to the butcher and he explains the different cuts of meat of the animal. Which of these cuts comes from the animal leg? Um, yeah, I'm no good at, uh, animal, uh, well, rump's the butt, neck is the neck, uh, flank, I believe, is the, uh, oh, I'm thinking that's like, a uh, rib, maybe, uh, I think shank. All right, show question. Um, Alex takes aim at a boar with his hunting rifle, but when he squeezes the trigger, the, his gun explodes. How could Alex have prevented it? Uh, maintain the firearm properly. <laughs> Susie loves deer in their silky coats. She decides to tan a deer hide to put it in her cabin. Which type of skinning should she use to prepare the deer for, tra for tanning? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I do not know... Um, I'm going to go with dorsal skinning. Let's see, show question. Sammy wants to go duck hunting, but he can't decide which gun to bring. What would you recommend? A shotgun? You score. How did I do? Ah, uh, four out of five. I bet you it was the, 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 uh, skinning question that I screwed up. Um, so let's try it again. Since we know that a lot of the stuff... You know, I got right. So let's see. Start exam. So question. Oh, when you're looking to harvest some salmon to create bear bait, what when salmon reproduce? They gather in large numbers. Where can you find them at this time? Um, maybe freshwater rivers, I, I'm assuming. Um, you're hunting in the forest. You want to lie low and wait for game to come to you. What could you use to help stay hidden? Uh, tree. Sammy wants to go duck hunting, but can't decide which gun to bring. What would you recommend? A shotgun for duck hunting. All right, let's see. Susie loves deer in their silky coats. Okay, all right. Um, I'm going to go with cape skinning this time. No question. Bird hunting in Somerville Lake, but can't get close enough to take a good shot. What could you use to lure birds closer? Uh, decoys. Three out of five that time. Man, I, I suck. <laughs> Alright, let's try something else. Um, Medic. I'm, I'm kind of halfway decent at med, med, uh, first aid knowledge. Uh, okay, show options. Come across a hopeless chem addict while doing good deeds around town. The addict begs you for money or chems. How do you respond? Uh... Probably, um, treat her with a dick doll. Uh, okay. Brendan is at the first, at the firing range when Samuel accidentally clips him. They live round from his shotgun. He's lost a lot of blood. What will you do to restore it? <laughs> Take blood from his leg and trip it into his arm. <laughs> That's not gonna help one bit. Oh. The other scouts are excited for your field trip to Poseidon Energy Plant. You're worried about the effects of radiation. What do you do? Stop worrying as nuclear power is 100% safe and effective. Take some Radex just in case. Ask for a hazmat suit on arrival. Probably pop Radex just in case. Since this is the thing about first aid. Um... Which of the following is not a type of physician? Uh, astrologist. All right, show question. All right, which of the following is not a symptom of radiation sickness? Uh, hydrophobia. What? I missed one. I swear these things are rigged to make you lose. Uh, let's try code breaker.
You're lost in the woods and you need to use Morse code to signal other scouts for help. Which signal do you send? Obviously, do 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 do. That's uh, SOS. All right, show question. Which mythical device gave its name to this infamous kind of computer virus? Uh, Trojan horse. Um, for in it, I equals one. I is greater than ten. I plus plus. Because your code is flawed and the loop will not count from one to ten. How do you fix it? Well, if I is greater than 10. None of the above. Show question. Your data is only as secure as its weakest link, and what would that be? You. Samuel is upset. Mary. Samuel orders his Mr. Handy to hit Mary. The Mr. Handy won't obey. Why? It violates the Mr. Handy's programming. That's why. Let's view the score. Four out of five. Ah, okay, enough of that. Let's continue on. Let's demonstrate Pioneer Scout values and continue. Man, oh, it's sending me all the way back through. Ah, okay. All right, so I gotta clean up Kitty Corner Cabins. I'm thinking, maybe, no, it's not this one. Where is Kitty Corner Cabins? Ah, that's okay, Never mind. Where is Kitty Corner Cabins? Okay. I am trying to find that, uh, I think it might be over here. That's Dolly Sad's Wilderness. Maybe it deals with that. I am not too sure. Ah, silver scrap, that's cool. Oh, I need to, uh, equip my lock picking perks. I wish they would have made that all into one, uh, card. Instead of having to, uh... I'll keep my master rifleman. There we go. I should be able to open this lock. All right, let's take that and take the silver locket. Some duct tape. Toothbrush, toothpaste. I have no idea where Kitty Corner Cabin is. So there's nothing more to do here. Um, it's a good idea to regularly sharpen your fishing hooks with a metal file. So I'm gonna head over to Hemlock Holes Cook. So that's all the way over here to Hemlock Holes. Yep. 
All right, let's go find the cook. He's right down here. Welcome to our weekend cookout. At least I think it's the weekend. I seem to be having trouble with my internal calendar. Here at Hemlock Holmes Golf Club, we want to provide a family experience. So we're holding a community cookout. For all, all right. It just really rusts my actuators that I don't have any meat to grill. Could you get me some Brad Stag meat? Brad Stag meat, okay. Alright. So I gotta find a red a red steak herd. Uh, I'm working on it. Let's see where does he want us to go for the red steak? There's Yagwai over here. Uh, see, they're saying red stags up here. Uh, okay. All right. Not all you have. That simply won't do. Okay. We're gonna go and get some. So we're gonna hoof it. Just because that crashed space station, if I went and I fast traveled to it, I'll be fighting off a lot more than just a uh, rad stag. So it's best to go in it from a different angle. I don't care about the messenger. He can just stay there. Turn off my pit boy light. Okay, there's some rad stag. There we go. Took out a herd of Brad Stag with little issue. Okay. Now we can head over back over to the uh, to the golf course. Turn that in. Something tells me when we get over there, we turn the meat in. We're gonna have to protect the area because going out here and killing a bunch of rad stag was a little too easy. Just a wee bit too easy.
Okay, here we go. Gonna plop the meat on the grill. Those are some nice looking rat stag steaks. All right. I just love the sound of raw animal flesh sizzling over a hot flame. Yeah, so do I. Well done, my mighty hunter. The steaks are coming along nicely. I can tell those are prime cuts. But I completely forgot about side dishes. I need you to get some oh. potatoes for the tato salad. Oh, and if you find corn or carrots, I could use some of each. Okay. All right. That will be won't be hard. I'm gonna head back to my camp, and I'm gonna pick those right out of my garden. Or either I can go over to uh, Aaron Holt Aaron, uh, Farmstead there, or I can even switch over, over to Cobbleton Farm or even Becker Farm. Looks like. Um, but I'm gonna go over to my camp because I know I've got that stuff growing. Ah, my homestead. Here we go. Let's grab some potatoes. Ah, nothing like the screams of people in the morning. Alright, I got three carrots. I don't really have enough to make all five, but... I got the potatoes at least, and let's grab the corn. There we go, we got the corn. I just need two more carrots, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm not going to probably get a whole... No, I don't think I'm going to get anything special out of doing the optionals. Just for maybe a little bit more experience, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna head over to back over to the Emlock Holes. Alright, here we are. Let's go down, talk to the, uh... Oh, yeah, okay, we gotta put them on the grill. Okay, cool. Those are some nice-looking taters. I know. My famous tato salad will pair well with those rat stag steaks. You know it. Alright. So what now? Am I done with that part? Try one of our new rocket propelled golf clubs. It's completely legal on this course. <laughs> I want a rocket repelled golf club. All right, so then we got got to talk to the scout leader over here, so I can go, I can go over to Black Bear Lodge and then scoot over there. I can scoot, scoot, scoot over there. <laughs> okay, here we are at Bat Black Bear Lodge. We're going to go over this way to our quest destination.
Whoa. Those are snally gasters. those things out. Don't see if they have anything good on their bodies. Go loot them. Uh, I just had some snallygaster hide, waste acid, raw asbestos. That one had... Yeah, okay. They're fine. I don't need anything more off them. Toxic dried lake bed. That's not what we're looking for. Kitty quarter cabins, okay. Ooh. All right, that's some thirty six rounds, some asbestos and, and waste acid. Don't care. Oh, alarm clock. I'll take that. Take the loose screws too. Rat poison. I don't really need that right at the moment, I don't think. Alright. Let's go talk to the scout leader. Whoa, what's that out there? Oh, it's a crab. What don't you look smart in that tadpole? You must be the new tadpole. Yep. It's always nice to meet a new pioneer scout. I love nature, don't you? Pioneer scouts love all of nature. Even the smelly skunks and ugly opossums. Can you say opossum? Good. One thing all the boys and girls oh, shit. pioneer scouting hate is toxic mutagenic waste. Can you say toxic mutagenic waste? Excuse my language, by the way. I'm sorry. So I think I'm like, oh! <laughs> Yeah, containment barrel. Now run along and earn that badge. Toxic mutagenic waste may cause spurious genetic modifications, some of which may be harmful or even fatal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. So now we got to find these toxic mutagenic wastes. Clean them up and put them in the barrel. Why did that come up? All right. So... Trying to keep an eye out for that uh, glowing snaily gaster. I don't want to. I don't want to attract that thing. Man, that thing's really scary. I don't know. That thing spits stuff at you, too, so I want to try to take that thing on where I can uh, be far enough away from it and still be able to hurt it. It's a level 46. There we go. Got it. T 
Tactical Steadfast Double Barrel Shotgun. Hmm. Oh, I don't know if I want... Uh, I'm pretty darn close to my, uh, to my weight limit, so I'm gonna just leave it. Alright, so let's find this, this, this radioactive waste that we're supposed to find. I'm not even sure where we're supposed to find it at. We're gonna try looking for it. I'm wondering if it's out there in the, in the lake. Got a Indo stick guy. Oh, that's a Myrler Queen. There we go. It's down. I wonder if it's got anything good on it. Some rounds, some stim packs. Part. Okay. Uh, I don't care about the mire lurk. Meat. Uh, shadow. Strength and shadow combat armor. Right. Armor right leg. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I don't need it. Okay, let's find that mutagenic waste. I wonder if that's out there in the middle of the lake. Oof. Radiation's right up there. Is that green stuff it or something? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think it is. Alright. Get out of the, get out of the radiation. There's some mutagenic waste right there. It's a garden gnome. Uh, tells me I clean up mutagenic waste, but where is this mutagenic waste? That badge won't burn itself. No, it won't. Not if I can't find the mutagenic waste. I gotta find this stuff first. Well, I guess that's not it. Milk machine, I already know it. Ah, clipboard, okay. I gotta quit grabbing junk. I'm almost at my limit. Some snally gasters again over here. Another snally gaster. I saw him over here. Where did that thing go? There it is. Going in here. Let's see what do we got? What do we got in here? Got the uh, petrified corpse. Where is this mutagenic waste I'm supposed to find? Not finding any mutagenic waste. A lot of plastic plates. I don't even know where these containment barrels are either. Lots of stuff out there. Is 
these wire lurks. I think I saw the beacon guy. Some boiled water. What do we got over there in that steamer trunk? Ooh, nuka cherry. Alright. Eh, grab the bobby pin and the gunpowder. Don't need any syringe ammo. Alright, we got some 308 rounds here. There we go. Let's crouch. Oh, there's a mire lurk over there. There you go. It's down. There's another mire lurk over here. It's toast. Okay, where is that beacon guy? Oh, he's dead right here. Somebody already got him. Alright. I still can't find that mutagenic waste that I'm supposed to find for this, uh... Clean up quest. What is going on here? Oh, it's all the way over by Hemlock Holes. Okay. Alright. Go over to have my coals and get that mutagenic waste cleaned up. I was just over there doing the uh, cooking quest. I should have just uh, should have did the operation tidy first, and then came over here to do the uh, pick up the meat quest. Alright, got ourselves a, uh, one of the, uh, Grafton monsters. There we go. He's dead. Alright, so now let's go find that mutagenic waste. Ah, oh, there's some right there. Oof. That's... Oh, I've gained a healing factor mutation. Oh, that's nice. Okay, now I'm supposed to... Oops, I'm thirsty. Let's get some... Drink some water. Eat maybe a little dog food. There we go. Alright, let's go get some more of that mutagenic waste. There's some right here. Should've went and grabbed my hazmat suit. Yeah, it's four out of five. Uh, I'm gonna take some Radix so that way I don't uh, get too irradiated in here. Where? Oh, Rad Rush! Bam! There's the last bit right here. And there we go. Cleaned up the mutagenic waste. Now dump the muted toxic mutagenic 
Waste in a containment barrel. Where is the containment barrel? Let's see if the quest has a marker for that. All the way back at Kitty Corner Cabins. Okay, let's head back over to Kitty Corner Cabins. Oh, you pesky rat roach. Okay. Where are you, containment barrel? You're right over here. The blue barrels. There we go. Dumping the waste in there. And do I have to go back and talk to the other uh, scout leader again, or am I done here? Looks like I'm done here. Pemmican! Ooh, playing Pioneer Scout Bowie Knife. Ooh. All right, so now what we got left to do now is talk to Pioneer Scout Leader Treadley. All right. And underneath the mason is where's Treadley? Treadley, where are you, Treadley? Treadley, 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 where are you? You're not down there. That's for the sheep squatch. Ah, Treadley's over here at Dolly Sod's Wilderness. Let's go over to Dolly Sods and see Treadley. Ooh, we got ourselves a big Yagwai up there. Or is it dead? It's, no, it's sleeping. Maybe it's dead. I don't know. Let's shoot at it just to make sure. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Let's double tap and make sure it's dead. Ooh, is there something over here in the uh, Nuka Cola machines? There is a Nuka Cherry. Nice. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to the uh, scout leader. Stings and things. I was once the assistant to a world-renowned entomologist. Now I'm a pioneer scout leader. I bet you don't even. Know what an entomologist is. The last tadpole kept saying entomologist. I hit him with a dictionary. <laughs> Actually, my didn't let me, but I wanted to really badly. Entomology is the study of bugs, not words. And there are far too many bugs around these days. Why did they get so big? Wanted to hit him with a dictionary. <laughs> Really wanted to. Program wouldn't let me. From these new species, I could fashion an insect repellent. Here's a list. I've marked some. All right. Might find the right species, but really, the parts can come from anywhere. Okay, no problem. Got to go around and kill bugs now. All right. Let's check it out. All right. So we got blood bug. Uh, the blood bug proboscis up here. Got rad roach meat over there. Got uh, tick blood sack there. And we got stingwing barbs over there. Uh, anywhere else is. Not, but it wants us to. Oh, and we got blowfly glands up there. So I guess we could probably start out by going north to Southampton Estate and get the uh, blood. Bl <sighs> Why I'm a, I'm having a hard time saying that today. I don't know why. Blood bug proboscis. <laughs> All right. 
So we'll go up there and kill some blood bugs and get their proboscises. Okay, so let's, uh, ooh, there's a big old Mirelert Queen out there. I could probably take pot shots at it and it probably won't even know I'm there. Oh, where did it go? It was just out there. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Got ourselves a sneaky Mire Alert Queen. Oh well. We know we're roundabout way of where it's at, so we'll just uh, try avoiding it. Let's look for those blood bugs. Oh, there it is. There's that Mire Alert Queen right there. Oh, we got some kings in there and everything. Oof, we're gonna we're gonna leave that area. Oh, some glowing red stags, dead ones. Yeah, I think I know a better place where we can get some blood bug proboscis. Cause there doesn't seem to be any uh. Blood bugs around, even though it says there's supposed to be blood bugs up here. So we're going to go to a spot that I know of. But first we're going to make a quick um, run to my camp. That way I can reduce the amount of uh, caps it'll be to travel to where I want to go. All right. And then I want to go up here to Abernath or not Abernathy, um, Aaron Holt Homestead, because there's usually blood bugs um, buzzing around in their fields. So I'm gonna shoot them down and take their proboscises. Uh, tick blood. I think I'm gonna head over to the um, lumber mill south of Vault 76 to get the tick. Um, Rad roach. Um, Usually some rad roaches around a uh, uh, moonshiner's um, lodge over on the side of the map, too. We'll just do some of that or get them from there. Um, they say we can get it from anywhere. Stingwing barbs. i um, probably going to have to go where they want me to go for that because I'm not 100% sure where there's a good area that's guaranteed to have um, stingwings. Except for maybe around um, the uh, top of the world. I think there's some stingwing, stingwing bar. Man, I'm having a hard time saying some of these names today. I don't know why. I'm all tongue-tied. Okay, so. Where are you, blood bugs? You're usually buzzing around here. Oh, don't tell me today is going to be the day where you guys decide not to have stingwings out here. Ah. Ah. Come on. Ghoul. You get your ghoulish butt back over here. Eh. Ah. I'm gonna switch over my tr uh, perks again. Switch out this. So I could probably just leave that on because I'm not in a party, so I don't really need inspirational. Um, yeah, there we go. And then I'm gonna unequip my pick locks and go back to using my. Rifleman perks. 
There we go. That way I do a little bit more damage with my rifle. Alright, for some... Yeah, usually there's blood bugs that buzz around in here. And there just doesn't seem to be any today. Kind of a bummer, because... Would've been nice. Hey, that guy's got a nice base build up there. Look at that. That's pretty swanky. And they're just shooting at the bees. I used to build a base out here myself. I usually built it down there on the end of the, uh, the intersection of this road and this little dirt road that goes up the hill. Pretty nice. I had a little farm growing and everything. Well, no blood bugs this time around. So I'm going to have to go look for another location that might have blood bugs. Uh, let's see, what can we, where can we go? No, oh, place with blood bugs. Place with blood bugs. I'll just go down. I'll do the, the lumber mill real quick. And we will uh, get some tick blood. Let's load in. Get that tick blood. Another place we could probably go is down to... Um, down in the cranberry bogs, I think they've got some, uh, a good chance of having some stinglings down there and some, uh, blood bugs. Here, tiki, 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 tikis. Need your blood ticks. Ah, oh, here one. Ow. Tick blood sack, but I need the actual tick blood. Come on, tickies. Where are you, ticks? I hear one scuttling around now. There it is. Oh, here's another one scuttling around. So there's one. Ooh. I'm getting tick blood sacks, but I'm not getting any tick. Oh, no, it did take it. Okay. Alright. So, yeah, we're good. That tick ran in here. Go off to. There you are. Yep. There we go. Tick blood. There we go. Uh, let's find some rad roach meat and uh, bloat fly glands and some stinging barbs. Okay. All right. So they were saying for bloat fly up there. Okay. Go to Abby's bunker, I guess, and travel north. There's usually red roaches inside of Abby's bunker, so I'm just going to pick up the red roach meat, meat. And I don't know what's wrong with me today. I just cannot speak straight. Keep tripping over my own words. Red roach meat. There we go. Hopefully there's some down here. And they didn't get... Ah, here we go. Yep. There we go. That should be plenty of, uh, roach meat. Oh, now we're 
more encumbered. Let's find that there's a crafting station down here. Somewhere. Break apart some of these materials. Maybe, uh... Maybe bulk it up. That's around the other end of the building. Not in there. It's probably in here. Oh, got some more red roaches. Ah, good. It was a tinkerer's workbench. So that means I can bulk up stuff. That's nice. Alright, let's uh, craft. Bulk up the aluminum. Bulk up the copper. Bulk up the gears and the lead. The steel. Oh boy, do I got a lot of scrap steel on me. And there we go. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Cancel. Let's go in ammo. Um, 556. That's what I've been using. That's what the handmade uses. It's 556. I think it's 556. Let me take a look here. Yeah, 556 for the hardened piercing handmade I made. Okay. We should be all good down here. Okay, so we got the red roach meat. We've got our tick blood. Uh, we still need to get a blood blood uh, blood bug proboscis, the bloat fly meat. So. We're getting there. Bloat fly gland, blood bud, bug proboscis, uh, stingwing barbin, uh, tick blood sack. I got a tick blood sack. Oh, I know what happened because I went and I scrapped stuff. I think it went and turned it to something else. Let's take a look here. Let's go into our. It's gonna be underneath here, tick blood sack. If it still exists, not tick blood. If the tick blood sacks got turned into something else when I went and they scrapped things. Oh, of course it did. So we gotta go back and find ticks yet again. All right, so let's head north. Let's find that. Uh, let's just go and get the bloat fly gland. Right, we're going south. We want to go north. Oops. I'm going to grab that bloat fly gland. I got to get that uh, perk that allows me to uh, farm for mutations. There we go. Got rid of the uh, mire lurks in our way. Uh, let's continue heading north. Let's find them bloat flies. Anything interesting in here? Uh, not really. Okay. That's a honey beast, a glowing honey beast. All right, glowing honey beast. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take you out because you're by the bloat flies.
There we go. Let's find that glowing bloat fly. And we take it out and get that bloat fly gland that we need. Uh, it seems to have disappeared. I don't know where it ran off to. That was quick. I'll grab some of that. Uh, excessive adhesive, that's always good to have. Eh, don't need any of that. Actually, what am I... Let's go look at my apparel. Oh, I'm still wearing all my marine armor. I don't know why things that aren't of my marine armor caliber is... There we go. Took out the bloat fly. Hopefully it's got a gland on it. Yeah, I did shoot it over here, didn't I? Oh, okay. It stopped. Uh... There we go. Got the gland. Okay, so now we need to get a blood bug. Proboscis, Stingwing Barb, and some Tick Blood. Alright. Let's go back and try to find that Tick Blood again. That Tick Blood Sack. Uh, probably can't go back to the... Um... Let's go over down here. Let's go to Big B's Restaurant or the Tree uh, Go to the Tree Tops and get it. Gotta be careful of this, those uh, giant sloths. They got a sloth down there at the treetops. The mega sloths. Okay, looking for the stingwing barb. Where are the stingwings? So they're around here somewhere. I am not seeing a stingwing. Wasn't around out here at all. Where are you? Maybe for a second I saw something out that way. Let me go check it out. Well, it'd be this way if anywhere. I'm not seeing any stinglings. Game is lying to me. Tell me to come here to find a stingling. Uh, I'm not seeing one. And I'm not 
seeing it at all. Take a hop down here, maybe might be hanging out inside the little nook here, maybe. No. Nuka cherry, though. Now let's take a look at the map. No. Hmm. Where are those stingwings? Stingwing. Stingwing. Uh, as bad as uh, we look for the stuff for the blood bug proboscis. Nothing. Not a single stingwing to be seen. Uh, maybe there's something kicking around out here, maybe? Nope. Oh, that was a bust. I'll go over there and check out the, this area here for a uh, tick blood sack, I guess. As we're close by. Maybe we might get lucky and find some ticks. Yeah, how close are we to that tick blood sack? Okay, we gotta go around this bend up here in the road. Oh, it's the herder um, quest for the sheep squatch thing. And then there go a bunch of, uh, ghouls. Or not ghouls, but scorched. I don't want to get involved in that right now. Oh, there's a death claw walking down the road. Looks like that thing's getting in on the action over there. Okay, so let's see. We're almost where the, supposedly the ticks are. Maybe this time we'll actually get some luck and there actually will be ticks here. Oh yeah, I hear them. Alright, let's see what this thing's got. Hopefully it's got tick blood sack. Yes, it does. So we're done with the tick blood sack. We just need a stingwing barb and a blood bug proboscis. Hmm. 
trying to think of the best place would be to find a blood bug and a stingwing. They're still saying you can find stingwings here, and then the blood bugs are still up at that swamp that doesn't have anything. So I'm going to go to Southampton State instead of the swamp itself. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky and they will be the blood bugs up there. If not, then I don't know. You're going to have to continue looking in alternate locations for this, uh, for what we need. Up oh, there we go. Blood bug. There we go. Pop, pop. There you go. Blood bug proboscis completed. Now we just need to get the stingwing barb. Maybe I had to go up for the stingwing, or maybe I had to go up to the top of the tree uh, treetops or something. So let's give that a shot. Maybe that's what it is. It's just hanging out at the tippy top of the treetops on the giant tree uh, house. So let's give this another shot. Doing a quick look, see around, just to make sure. We're gonna go up top. Maybe it's up there. Find out. Still nothing so far. Ah. Got stuck. The heck. There we go. Heading out up there. Okay, let's go up a little bit higher. Let's keep going. Yeah, that treehouse goes up high. Okay, it's not up there if there was one. And here we are at the very, very, very tippy top, and still no sign of a stingwing. Go down. Gotta be kicking around here somewhere in the swamp. Okay, where could we go? Gotta be a stingwing around here somewhere.
Super mutant. There's any sting wings flying around in there or not? I don't think there is. Where are these so called sting wings that are supposed to be around this location? Oh, this is frustrating. Only thing holding me up. Not seeing any in the swamp at all. Well, maybe it's in that shack right there. Maybe there might be a stingwing. Or here in this spooky looking place. Get lucky. I'll see nothing yet. They're here in the barn. Ginseng root, okay. What's that down there? Oh, it's just some something growing along the trees, okay. Yep, still no uh sting wings. Oh, what a bunch of bull honky. Alright. Sting wings, sting wings. Where can we find sting wings? I'm gonna do a quick Google search. See what I can find on uh, sting wings. Sting wing. Okay, so I guess Bleeding Kate's Grindheart, Grindhouse near Riverside Manor. Alright. Yeah, figure out where that is on the map. I don't think I've ever unlocked Bleeding Kate's Grindhouse. No, I don't want to print that. I did a big boo-boo. No. 
Ansel. Let me go to search Google for Bleeding Kate's Grindhouse. Uh, let's see if we can find it on the map. Okay, I see where it's at. It's down in, um, kind of the, I would say the eastern part of the, uh, coal area, where they did all the coal mining back in the day. Uh, somewhere around in here somewhere. Up oh, there is Bleeding Kate's Grindhouse, I got it. Oh yeah, there's tons of sting wings in there. I can see them flying around. Alright, let's see if we can get a good vantage point where I can just uh take pot shots at these bugs. Not get myself in too much uh trouble. One. Let's see if it's got the barb I'm looking for. Not just the meat. Took that one out. Hopefully, maybe that one's got the barb. All right, got all the items I need. Now we can head back to the um, to the. Guy that studies bugs. All right. To the bug guy. What's this guy? What's this up here? Has to get the shack. Okay. Let's take it to the bug bot. The bug bot. Guy, that's the bot that studies the bugs. The entomologist. <sighs> okay. Ah, need some water. Pemmican. Mmm, pemmican. Gonna eat that. It's yummy. Alright, let's drink the nuka cherries. There we go. repellent taste <laughs> okay so now I got to um, earn scout scout world challenge badges and uh, kindness I gotta revive an ally so gotta find somebody that's got knocked down I can revive and then I gotta do scout world challenge badges I don't know 
Is that something that's, uh... Yeah, let's take a look, see if it's in the, the challenges log. Okay, let's see. Uh, world. I have no idea. So this quest is actually turning out to be a little bit more involved than I thought it was going to be. Now I'm going to head back over to the Pioneer Scout Camp. And actually, here, let's take a look over here. Challenges. A lot of camera lens. Take a camera, picture, player, in power armor in combat. I don't know. I don't know how to get those. What they mean by the world challenges. You wear that uniform well. Thank you, Scout Leader Treadley. All right, so I'm gonna head back to my camp, and then I'm gonna take. Uh, I need to take five, but I'll be right back, guys. As soon as I get to my camp, and get inside where I'm safe. load back over to my base and then we'll figure out what's going on from there okay all right okay I'll be right back, everybody. Give me, like I said, give me about five minutes, and I'll be back. Yes. Okay.
Okay, everybody, I am back. Thank you for waiting. All right, so trying to figure out what these Earn Scout World Challenge badges. I'm thinking I'm going to have to Google that. So I'm going to take a quick gander. All right, so it was Scout challenge fall of 76 scout oh, scout world challenge so I'm gonna look up scout world challenge how to earn scout badges Oh, you just need to complete three of the world quests for the scouts. Each includes passing the exam and then completing a number of quests. In the challenge section under the world category. Uh, do you know what the exams are for? Yes, please. 
Where do we do those? Okay, so you gotta take exams. Okay. Oh, okay, so I gotta pass an exam. And then, um... All right, so it looks like I got to pass a, uh, an exam and then I get a quest or something or I get a quest and then I do a uh, the exam. All right, so let's go. Um, looks like we're going to have to go back up to the uh, camp anyway. Okay. We're back at the uh, Pioneer Scout Camp. Let's go down and see the... Uh, you gotta do the exams, and then you get a uh, quest that corresponds with the exam. A challenge. Okay. Is that dog food? It is dog food! Alright, so let's go over here. Let's try the exams again. Alright, tadpole exams. Let's try this again. Let's do archer this time. Exam will test your knowledge of archery. Start exam. Show question. Bows and arrows have been used for a long time. Around when do researchers say the first bows and arrows were created? What? Uh, 64,000 years ago? Uh, let's see. Robbie is planning a bow hunting trip to Seneca Rocks with his dad, where they'll be hunting white tailed deer. What type of arrowhead should they bring with them? Uh, broadhead point, maybe? Uh, Kami's have invaded. Alex is a champion archer and wants to defend his country. What type of arrows should Alex use to penetrate the thick armor of the communist swine? Um, field point? An arrow is made of four parts, which is not one of them. The knock. The ballista was invented thousands of years ago in a Greek city called Syracuse. It is essentially a large version of what type of bow? A crossbow. Alright, let's view the score. Ah, really? Man, I'm horrible at these... Qu uh, let's try cook. Maybe I can get something right. Uh, start exam. Alright, show one. What is the name of the red liquid that pours... Hour of a steak. Pour, I think they mean pours out of a steak after cutting it. Uh, that is myoglobin, I believe. Molly wants to make steak tartare. How long will she have to cook the steak? Um, serve it raw. Um, exam in progress. Uh, question three five. Show question. Carlos adds a pinch of salt to his water before boiling it. What effects does this have on the water? I thought... I don't think... It, uh, maybe... Uh, I know it has something to do with boiling. I don't know. Just go with increases. Um, show questions. Coating moist food with a dry ingredient like flour or bread comes before cooking it is known as what? Dredging. 
Browning meat on a pan is an example of what kind of chemical reaction? Uh, uh, try a mallard reaction. All right, I passed. All right, cool. I don't know what that did, but cool. Alright, well, I, anyway, I succeeded in doing an exam. I don't know what that did. I gotta come over here to talk to Scout Leader Jaggy. Okay, I guess nothing. Oh, I got another one where it says talk to Hemlock Holes Cook. Alright, so let's go back up to Hemlock Holes. Maybe now we'll actually be able to do something. Uh, let's see here. That back up. All right. We'll talk to the cook. Welcome to our weekend cookout. At least I think it's the weekend. I seem to be having trouble with my internal calendar. Here at Hemlock Holes Golf Club. Oh, we got to do Thrill the Grill again? So we're holding a community cookout for all the nearby families. It just really rusts my actuators that I don't have any meat to grill. Could you all right, looks like we got to do that again. Meat, and you can also find out why we can't get your meat. Oh, I'd be able to make some exotic steaks. All right, let's go find some more rad steak. Let me know that they roam in that uh, cesspool up there. Or is it saying that Radstag herd is now? And doesn't look like it's bringing up one at all. Oh, wait, no, over here. Uh, I could probably. Uh. Now you know what I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hoof it from here. Uh, maybe we might find a roaming uh, herd that we could just take out easily enough that we did before. That'd be nice. That's Wavy Willard Bot. Oh, I hear one of them, uh, silo code tools. Ah, there he is. There we go. Got on there, grab that silo code. Alright, got another one. Okay, I've got another. All right, I hit 77. Okay. Looks like we have our rad stag meat. I don't know nothing on that one. And we might not have enough meat after all. All right. Ah. One short. 
shoot. Now we're just gonna have to continue hunting for Radstag. Where are you, Radstag? Where are you? Oh, my alert queen's back up. Oh, frog. Like somebody else came through here and was killing stuff. That location up there it is. Ah, never discovered this location before. Better go discover it. That way I've got it marked on my map. Looks like some kind of trailer park or something. And radiation's all over the place. Willard corporate housing. Really? This is corporate housing? Ugh. Bunch of trailer park homes. What crummy living conditions. Alright, come on. We want Brad Steg. Got some of that there, uh, irradiated thistles. Ooh. Earthquake. At least I hope it was an earthquake and not like a scorch beast taken off somewhere. I don't know what else is up here. Now we got ourselves a, uh, some scorched up here. I'm not ready to run up to right there. Red stag B. Just need one more. Ah, <gasps> maybe, 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 maybe. Ah, it's already dead. Darn it. I'll find you yet, Radstag, and when I do... Oh, got some metal deposits up here. Iron. All right. Ah, here we go. Rad stag herd right down there.
Ah, they all booked. Oh, that's because they had Yagwise come after them. Oh, we just got where we got our uh, Brad Steg meat we required. Let's get that one piece and be gone before the Yagwise come back. Oh, that one had nothing in it. There we go, some meat. I bought being chased by some rad rats. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna head back to Emlock Holes. All right. Hmm. You appear to be a few stakes short. No, I'm not. There are some nice looking rat stag steaks. I just love the sound of raw animal flesh sizzling over a hot flame. Who doesn't? We aren't done yet. All right, I need the potatoes. Side dishes. I need you to get some potatoes for the tato set. Oh, and if you find corn or carrots, I could use some of each. All right. Now I'm gonna head back to my uh, cabin and my little uh, camp, a camp, as my friends like to call it, camp. Yep. Our camp. Gonna grab some more potatoes. Okay, I guess we didn't have any more carrots from the last time we did this. So I kind of annoyed. So I'm gonna plant those carrots that I do have, so we can. Uh, so later we can use them in. Okay, so let's go over to food, carrots, and a few more. There we go. There, now I got more carrots growing so I could use that later. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the cook at Hemlock Holes. Heck yeah. Make my circuits glow. With the radiation? Those are some nice looking taters. Thank you. I, I grew them myself. Well those rad stag steaks. Try one of our new rocket propelled golf clubs. It's completely legal. Okay. And did I 
earn Scout World Challenge badges? I guess not. Alright, let's uh, pick a perk card. Uh, what do we got here? Trying to find the one that allows you to, uh... Trying to find those cards that allow you to uh, keep mutations even when your ra uh, rads are up there. Carry junk to gain up to 10 damage and energy resistance. <coughs> Not too bad. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure where it's at. Unless I'm not... Can't get all of them yet. I'll grab Class Freak for now. I don't need to equip any cards. I'm good for now. Uh, Still didn't get any Scout World Challenge badges. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, I see. Right here. Tadpole. Archer. Athlete. Codebreaker. Cook. Oh, alright. Gotcha. That's what we gotta do. Get the tadpole badges. And you get the badges by... Alright. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright. So, let's see. We got athlete. We got two out of the six. We've got the... Got past the athlete knowledge exam, complete athletic course at Camp Venture, and then complete the athletic course at New River Gorge Bridge. So, there we go. We got that. Cook. Pass the cook knowledge exam. Cook food while wearing a chef's hat. 
cook blackberry honey crisp, cook brain bombs, cook a cranberry meatball grinder, cook seared venison with berries, cook s'mores, cook a sweet roll, cook yao guai roast. All right, so cook's actually pretty um, consuming with, um, so I just gotta do some athletic courses and pass the athlete knowledge exam. So I go back and I can do that knowledge exam that's what, that's where it is. Okay. All right. We figured out what we need to do to get those um those world challenge things completed. They really made this one pretty in depth. Excuse me. Sorry about that. And then at some point I gotta find somebody that, that fell down in combat and revive them. Alright. Alright, tadpole exams. Athlete. Alright, here we go. Start exam. Troll question. Mark's favorite athletic event is wrestling. He idolizes famous wrestlers and wants to wrestle just like them. Which of these U.S. presidents has a reputation as a wrestler? Uh, I think it was Polk. Uh, like to throw things? Who doesn't? In fact, there's probably a sport for throwing your favorite object. Which of these is a th is thrown for a sport? Which one of these is thrown for sport? Um, javelins. Uh, you're training for a marathon and decide to push yourself to see how long you can run. Despite your best efforts, you can only go so far. What substance builds up in your muscles and causes this? That would be lactic acid. Uh, examine progress. Four out of five. Show question. Hana is training for a pentathlon, an event used to prepare athletes for the rigors of warfare. How many sports will she need to com need to train for in order to compete? Um, you know, a, a pentathlon is uh, a five-sport marathon. So five? Uh, show question five by five. If you're competing in a track and field race and have lined up at the starting line, an official signal will begin. How does he do this? Usually firing a starting gun. If you score. Four out of five. What? What did I get wrong? All right, let's try this again. Uh, start exam. Both athletes bulk up by lifting weights, but weightlifting itself is a competition as well. Only a few lifts are used in Olympic weightlifting. However, which of these lifts is use? Uh, none of the above, I guess. I don't know much about lifting weights. Uh, you're going rock climbing with Mary when she slips and begins to fall. Luckily, she brought She's brought to a stop by a device attached to a rope. What is this device called? Uh, a belt? <laughs> uh, okay, three or five. Let's see. You're competing in a track and field race and have lined up with... Okay, how does it do this? Uh, firing a starting gun. As a cross-country runner, you might be called a harrier. What is a harrier? Um... A dog. The shot put event uses a heavy sphere called a shot. What do you do with a shot in this event? You throw it. Two out of five that time. Ooh, that was a horrible score. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna get this athlete to test eventually. Uh, training for a marathon, so to push yourself, ceiling, okay, it's lactic acid. Uh, short question. 
James wants to join the army and fight the Reds, but he's out of shape. Eventually, he'll have to pass the army's physical fitness test, which could be hard for him. Which of the following does he not have? Or does he not he? Not he? What? Which of the following does he not have to, to worry about being in the test? Um... Well, I know you guys, they do two-mile runs and all that stuff like that. Um, Sit-ups, I'm guessing? I'm not 100% sure. Show question. Uh, Susie is taking part in a long jump competition. She takes a running start, but stumbles at the last minute and only makes it three feet. How embarrassing. When the longest long jumpers can jump, how far? I'm going to guess 16 feet. Uh, show question. A cross-country runner. You might be called a harrier. What is a harrier? I'm going to go with dog again. Because I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Alfonso is interested in football. He's a tall, natural leader with a strong arm. And he knows every play in the book. What position would be best for Alfonso? Natural leader with a strong arm. Be good as a quarterback. Three out of five that time. All right, let's give this another go. Game okay. All right. Uh, what does he not have to worry about being on the test? You know what? Just to speed this along a little bit, I'm going to see if somebody's posted the answers for these tests online. Just so we can get a little... <coughs> hmm. Fallout 76 Pioneer Scout Exam. All right, cool. Here we go. We're going to try this again. This time I got the answer key. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit here, guys. Um, because, to be honest with you, I don't know the answers to these tests. Um, just guessing and pulling them out of my butt. I'm horrible that way. Okay, so, let's join the army. Um... Alright. Oh, it just give you the uh Oh this doesn't have the answers, darn it. This is just tells you what the question is question is and the answers for it, but doesn't tell you the actual correct answer. No That is not what I want. I want the actual oh wait, no, it does say the correct answer. Uh no don't. Only a couple of them they do that. Uh Hmm Yeah, it doesn't look like they got an actual complete uh answer key. Ooh. Well, due to it being, you know, being brought out yesterday, um, there's not that much for, uh, much for the, uh, answer key yet, I guess.
Alright, so I guess we're just gonna have to, um... Just roll with what mean what I can figure out on my own. The moment while I get my chat back up, because I can't see my chat. Um... Boom, there we go. Alright, so let's go back and try this out again. James wants to join the army and fight the Reds, but he's out of shape. Eventually, he'll have to pass the army's physical fitness test, which could be hard for him. Which of the following? You know, I have to do maybe a two-mile run. I'll go with a two-mile run this time. All right. Uh, it's lactic acid. Because uh, I know that. Uh, you're competing in a track and field race and have lined up at the starting line. An official will signal. Okay, by the with a firing a starting gun. Uh, that is called a runner's high. Um, going rock climbing with Mary. She, she slips and falls. Uh, I'm going to go with a delay device. You score. Four out of five that time. All right. So I got pretty close to that one. So something I'm still missing. Um, start the exam. All right. Okay. This is a baseball game inside the seal second base. How far do you have to run to get there? Oh, what's the space between the? I'm gonna say 60 feet. Uh, the shot put. You throw it. You throw a shot put. Roll the shot. Uh, I'm gonna go with belt this time. I'm gonna see if that might do something. What's the highest number of runs Barry can score on a single home run? Well, if bases are loaded, which is three, and he's up at bat, so he can score four home run or four runs in a home run. I'll examine progress, 5 out of 5 show question. I do believe it was Polk was a wrestler. One? I only got one right out of that whole entire thing? Uh, man, I'm horrible. Let's try this again. And javelin, you can throw javelins. It's a two mile run, I guess. Uh, first base, side of steel, second base, how far? Oh, you're on, okay, so yeah, 60 feet. Uh, Ricky loves riding his bicycle. He rides so much he could probably be in a Grand Tour, but there are a lot of stages to each Grand Tour event. How many? Oh. Looks like I'm just going to have to do a Google search on, um, for that. Let's just do a Google search. How many stages in a grand tour? And it's not states, I want stages. T needs to get out of there. It'll be replaced with a G. I don't know what you're doing Google you and your crazy autocorrect nonsense and Google seems to be having an issue uh,
Uh, looks like 14 is the answer. Oh, come on. What happened to my Fallout 76? There we go. I'm back up Fallout 76. I don't know what you're doing. There we go. 14. Most athletes bulk up by lifting weights. Weightlifting is self conscious Only a few... Lifts. Okay, so this one, that one page I found, did have the answer for this one. Um, it says it is a, um, a clean and jerk is the correct answer. So we're going to go back in there. We're going to go with the clean and jerk. So you score two out of five. Ah, come on. Come on. Start exam. Oh, jeez. I have no idea, guys. If any of you guys have any clue whatsoever in some of these these, these uh, questions, feel free to chime in because I am struggling. <laughs> I am horrible at this. Very, very horrible at this. Uh, I'm going to say maybe 29 feet. Let's go with that this time. Show question. Four. Uh, three at five. James wants to join the army. Fight the Reds. Okay, what? I'm going to say... Sit-ups. Um, I'm going to look that up. What is a carrier? Yeah, it's a dog. So I thought so. Clean and jerk. Four out of five that time. That's a lot better than what it was before. All right, tadpoles exams. Try this again. Start exam. All right, I think it's the long jump question I messed up. Um, long jump record. Yeah, roughly 29 feet is how far the longest, uh, long jump. Okay, so, so, next question. Rock climbing. Uh, rock climbing. Uh, thinking. Rock climbing gear. Uh, the Google on my phone is taking some time to load in my, uh, what I want to know. No, Google, I don't need you. I just want to look at my results here. Uh... That's a belay device. Okay, show question... Most athletes ba bulk up by lifting weights. Wait, let's do something. Only a few. Okay, however. Okay, it was the clean and jerk. That's the correct answer for that one. Uh, let's show question four. Um, there are a lot of stages to each Grand Tour event. How many? But the thing is, though, it depends on the Grand Tour. Because I guess... um. 
first I gotta figure out what a stage of a Grand Tour is. What is a stage in a Grand Tour? Cycling. Uh, let's figure out what the heck it is. Holy cow. Um, the Tour de France is 21 stages. So let's go 21 on that. Uh, let's see. Okay, and that's with a starting gun. So let's view other score. Please be five out of five. Oh yes, we did it. We've passed. We passed time. All right, cool. All right, awesome. We managed to pull off and doing a test. So now all I got to do is run those athletic courses at those various different locations. Now one of them was down here. I think at Camp McClintic. I think let's take a look at the uh, challenges. Um, we want to go into world. All right, we're gonna look at an athletic camp venture. Let's go here. Venture, New River, Gorge Bridge, and Sunny Top. So camp venture. Oops. Camp venture is down. It's for defiance. Trap site. Firebase major, no. General Sega. Camp Venture, there we go. Let's get down there and do that. Oh, we might actually have to uh continue this uh this uh special on the uh Pioneer Scouts. On, on uh, another day, because we're already seven minutes to the end of my stream. But let's see what we can do in the amount of time we've got left. So we got to find where this um, athletics course starts up. Let's find this rotting. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got him. Oh, suffering from dehydration. Holy cow, did my thirst go down. Holy moly. Alright, let's get that thirst back up. Get some canned dog food in me. There we go. Alright, let's, uh... Try to get advantage point to blast these ghouls that are uh, shuffling around. I don't know if anyone ran over there looking for me. All right, so where is this athletics course that they speak of down here in Camp Venture? I have no idea where it is, or how to even initiate the, uh... Alright, oh, somebody's up here taking out somebody from these things. Oh, got okay. poor fusion core and, uh... Where is the suit? course guessing maybe up there well, let's take a look it might be up there yeah 
flags and stuff, so maybe, yeah. What's this here? Control terminal. No. All right. I don't know what this is for. Oh, okay, it wants you to finish over there. So where do you start? Where do you start this madness? I'm going to assume it starts down there. All right, so you click on this and it begins the course. Did it in the shape? Okay. All right. Run to each checkpoint in the right order and reach the finish line before time runs out. That's right. I'm timing this. Just like life's race against our own fleeting mortality, this is a race against the clock. All right. Yeah. Everyone ready? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Um, that doesn't seem right. All right. All right, let me go down here. Up here, over here, woo, here we go, and why didn't it update any of that? Did I go too soon? I think I may have went too soon. Yeah, that's the thing though, I didn't fail. All right, let's try this again. That's right. Failure can't stop you, camper. No, matter no it can't. Crushing it might be. Time to try again. Remember, run through each checkpoint in the right order and get to the finish line before time runs out. Do your best. On your mark. Get set. Go. And I got to wait for this thing to they complete, and then... Alright. Okay, and woo, we did it. Did it. Great job. Woo, woo. Head on over to the next course. All right, and for some reason I am overcovered now. It's because of the uh, rewards. Okay, no big deal. What can I? Toss out that I don't need. Uh, don't really need a pulse mine. I don't need laser pistol. I could have, I could have broken apart, but yeah. There, baseball bat. Yeah. Nah, I don't really need grenades either. There we go. Boom. Done. All right. So I'm going to head back to my camp 
and end the stream here because uh, we're done for today. We're at uh, noon, and that's the end of my streaming block, everybody. Um, thank you all for joining me today. Um, uh, tomorrow, I'm probably going to continue doing the um, continue working on this uh, event. Well, not really an event. This new quest line. Um, the uh, try to get this uh, Pioneer Scout backpack. Let's close this door here. Get back in my own nice little farmstead. Sit down on my couch. There we go. Okay, everybody. Well, you all have a wonderful day. And have a wonderful evening. And I will see you guys all here again at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys again for joining me today. And like I said, have a good one, guys. All right, now just need to load it over here and end the stream now. <laughs> okay, bye, everybody.